Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Cooling. Today I'll talk about the electric regulating valve type CCFT light, which is available with steel connections and bimetal connections, as seen here. The valve is designed specifically for the CO2 systems and can be used as a pressure regulator for the gas cooler or as a gas bypass valve with back pressure regulation or as a liquid expansion valve. Now, how do we weld this CCMT light valve with stainless steel connections into stainless steel piping in an efficient way to ensure safe installation? We will show you that in this short video where we will support you to make an efficient welding to ensure safe installation without future risk of refrigerant leakage. This includes correct use of welding method, power, filler material and protection gas and avoiding to exceed max allowable temperatures during the welding. Here you see the CCMT light valve with stainless steel connections. The valve is supplied with this easily read installation guide, as seen here, which you can use to weld the valve into piping, ensuring a safe installation. Let us go through this in practice, step by step. Since both valve and piping in this case are stainless steel, we recommend to use thick welding, this being an efficient welding method for piping. Here you see what you need to efficiently weld the valve into the stainless steel piping, which is suitable thick welding equipment with correct power of approximately 60 amps, correct welding material consisting of approximately 1 to 2 mm thick stainless steel alloy, as specified here, argon or alternatively Formia 10 protection gas to ensure a clean welding and tight connection and a temperature gauge to measure and avoid exceeding max allowable temperatures which might damage the internal valve gasket. Now let's get started with the welding. There are two ways of welding. You can insert the piping into the valve connector and weld as seen here or you can do a butt welding with piping and valve connector aligned as seen here. We'll show you both methods. Starting with the piping inserted into the valve connector. Firstly, we connect the supply of protection gas to the valve and ensure a flow through the valve and welding area as seen here. This to ensure a clean and tight welding without risk of refrigerant leakage. Then, before the actual welding, we fix the piping to the valve by spot welding, as seen here. Once done, then we wrap a wet cloth around the valve to cool it down during the welding. Then we are ready to weld, starting with the bottom connection, as seen here. While welding, make sure that the specific max temperatures are not exceeded. After we have completed the welding, we disconnect the supply of protection gas, remove the cloth and cool the valve with water. Do not touch the valve while it is hot. We can now repeat the whole welding sequence for the side connection. Now, we follow exactly the same procedure for the butt welding, which takes a bit more caution when aligning and spot welding the piping to a valve connector. This you can see here in the following sequences. So to summarize, now you know how to efficiently weld the CCMT light valve with stainless steel connections into stainless steel piping, ensuring a safe installation. This by using correct welding method, power, 
material and protection gas to ensure clean and tight welding and connections and to avoid future risk of refrigerant leakage from the connections and avoiding to exceed the max allowable temperatures during welding this way avoiding overheat and damage of the internal valve gasket and avoiding having to replace the gasket there are other online videos about how to brace these valves into copper piping. Have a look at these and other online videos where I talk about valves. Thanks for watching.